Okay, uh, good day to everyone. Uh, let us test our picture bot. So, I'm here using my cell phone. And on the screen, I will show to you uh, how it works. So, we have made in our discussion the attributes, the name, the age, address, section, phone, and email. So, we're going to collect this data or these attributes using the picture book that we have made on the side. So, let's start. So, start then. Okay, so we have here. Um, hi, Rogelio. Nice to meet you. I am working the picture book that guides you in learning in the 7 I'm hoping that your 100% preparation for the success of your learning. The type, start type, register, okay, or the button register. So let's have the button. Okay, so here the bot is asking on my name. And okay, that's it. So this time we're going to validate the age if the validation is number so let us see uh, combination of letters and numbers so the reply of the bot is what you have entered does not look like num a number please try again so we enter the age 13 for instance so address plan uh, Then section uh, A. Then phone number. We're going to validate the phone number. Sample combination of letters. Eh? So the bot will have answer. What you have entered is not look like a phone number. So we have to enter phone number. So it keep instant for type three four system. So the phone number. Okay, so accepted. So we have an email. So let us validate if it's an email. Okay, so it is like an email. So we can to provide an email. R at gmail.com. So in this time moment, if you press this one, immediately the responses of our students will be recorded here. I will be integrated here. So let us see. Okay. So the timestamp, the name that have entered, then the server. So as you look at here, so we supplied the information. So uh, let us try another student. Sample another student register. The name is Richard Gomez. And the age is 12. And address Glam. Section A. Then um, we validate it is a phone number. So asking for a phone number. Zero eight three five five three five 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 three five six seven. Let's instant. Let's remove. Email. So simple. Okay. So the validation is is not like an email. So we put by an email. Yes. At gmail dot com. Okay, so here Richard Gomez, twelve years old, young, and so the number on the email. Another student, nice. Okay, you get to register rather. Another student, register. 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 Let's check with name. 
Um, we have Melissa Sobrano. Okay, so something combination of letters and numbers. Uh, so why we uh, why we test this one because uh, some of the validation non phone email. So let us see or test the teacher book. If we are if we can if we, the teacher book can identify. So age so we have to fail. Main address, plan. Okay, so main section A. Okay, so phone number, so validation, phone number. Okay, so we put on number 0975549 or something like that one. Email, so. Validation. So we put an email. Uh, L at gmail dot com. So let us see here. It's integrated. Okay. We have blank Sobrano, thread blank A, so the number and the email. So another student. Name Patrick Garcia. So age is uh, so if your student is free data, still he can participate in the lesson. That we have also an illustration also. So like this one we have the registration. So, you have to register who are the students in your class. Address, GLAM. And section A. And phone number, support number, so you have nine, seven, five, seven, nine, eight, seven, 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 Gmail. Okay. So an integration here. So why we need to collect the names for us to know our student under the bracket of age and their address because we have to contact them. And also since we cannot do it face to face, so we can call them. And then we are collecting the Gmail. Um, for us to integrate in Google Classroom. So some of the, the lessons uh, will be integrated in the Google Classroom. So that's why uh, we're going to get their valid email address. So again, uh, this is part of the registration and we're going to go beyond go beyond to what you have started so we can collect other data aside from name age address section phone email so so i think uh, that's all for this day i hope that i can help you in improving your teacher, teacher book okay good day to everyone